Welcome dear Polly Pocket Dreamers! Today I'm going to show you a new inbox Polly Pocket and it's a Disney one again. Today I've got the Hunchback of Notre Dame. It looks wonderful. I'm so excited to show it to you. It's a new part of my collection. The package it says that the Hunchback of Notre Dame is from 1996. But on the internet I found the information that it's from 1995. I'm a bit confused, but I don't think it matters a lot. Here you can see how it looks from the inside. I'm not going to open this one, so I can show you this from the outside because I think it looks really spectacular. And I'm going to play with one that is already unpacked. I'm so excited. It looks so cute. There you can see the Church of Notre Dame and in the front a little marketplace. Isn't this so cute? On the other side of the box I found the little instructions that always tell you what you can do. So let's read them out together. It says tower window, stage and marketplace light up. Pretend Quasimodo rings bell. Removable gargoyles. Lightened canopy. Pretend Esmeralda and Jolly dance. Esmeralda's dressing tent. Pretend Clopin juggles. And last but not least, Frollo can watch festival. Wow! I can't wait to start telling you the story. But first we have to exchange the new inbox with the already unpacked one in one, two, three! And here it is! The festival is already starting with its preparations. Let's have a closer look at the accessories. We've got a litter, Quasimodo, Clopin, Frollo, the evil one, and next to him you can see Phoebus. Then we've got Esmeralda, her magical goat Jolly, Victor, Hugo and Laverne, the three gargoyles. As we can see, the whole city Paris is already busy with the preparations for the Festival of Fools. The hunchback of Notre Dame would love to join, but he doesn't dare. You can go, Laverne says. You are old enough and you are very kind. People will love you. But Frollo, his dad, is very strict. One evening, before the festival, he tells Quasimodo again that he will never, ever be able to leave the Tower of Notre Dame because the world is so evil outside. And still, Quasimodo gets convinced by the gargoyles to jump over the towers, roofs and houses of the city of Notre Dame. Here is a little house. And it looks beautiful on the inside. Oh no, but Frollo already wakes up. His appearance is very evil too. He is the judge of Paris and wants to have the overview and control over everything. In the meanwhile, the soldier of Fibers enters the city. He comes home after a hard fight, but now has to be Frollo to fight against the gypsies. Quasimodo is in the city. He can't believe his eyes. Everything is so beautiful here. Why did Frollo never tell him? I pushed the tree and now the lights are on. Wow, look at this. Clopin can juggle. I only have to turn the wheel. And Quasimodo is so fascinated by this. He wants to attend the Festival of Fools, a festival where the person with the most awkward face gets to be the king. So, who could it be today? Quasimodo hides behind the houses, and there he sees Esmeralda for the very first time when she exits her tent. She is so beautiful, he had never seen something like this. But she's a gypsy. 
and the judge Claude Frollo will surely be against her. Here we are at the heart of the presentation. Esmeralda and Jolly are on stage and going to perform a wonderful, magical dance. I only have to turn the lever, and the dancing platform moves around. Chuck, 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 chuck. Wow, Quasimodo is so impressed. Quasimodo even wants to apply for the title of the biggest fool. Because his face is really awkward, he has been deformed since his childhood, and I think he has really got a good chance to win. But what he doesn't know is that Frollo is watching him all the time. Whew, I get very scared if I have a look at Frollo, he looks so evil. Here we are, we have a winner, Clopin says. This is the biggest fool. But now the crowd starts to humiliate him and throw tomatoes at him. Frollo gets very angry and Quasimodo has to flee into the church. Flee, he is so ashamed of what happened. Phoebus, go and catch him, he says. And also Esmeralda flees, flees into the church of Notre Dame, where she finds Quasimodo to help her, hold her hand and hides her from the bad judge. Look, I can ring the bell. They enjoy the atmosphere together. It's so beautiful, Esmeralda said. I didn't know you had a job that is that exciting. Quasimodo helps Esmeralda to hide. He shows her every little corner in the church and is very proud of his home, but also very sad to let her go. Ibis, who has observed everything, thanks Quasimodo for his heroic deed. But Frollo is so angry that he wants to burn every house in the city in order to find Esmeralda. When Phoebus doesn't obey, Frollo pushes him down. Take this! Take this! he says. And injured, he lies on the ground. But Esmeralda quietly observed everything. Oh no, Phoebus, are you okay? I will bring you to Quasimodo. He will make you healthy again. As expected, Quasimodo takes care of Phoebus, but it's also very sad to see that Esmeralda is in love with him. Finally, at the end, we get Frollo to fall down the church. Take this. We have seen enough of you. <laughs> I'm really angry at the evil, evil Frollo. So, now everything is happy again. We killed Frollo. And now we can attend the festival. Everyone is so proud of Quasimodo that he saved Phoebus' life. And also Esmeralda is happy for the blessing and is very much in love with Phoebus. They dance along. This is the final happy end. And they lived happily ever after. <laughs> This was Disney's Hunchback of Notre Dame from 1996. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching and we will see each other in the next Polly Pocket video. Don't forget, keep Polly Pocket dreaming your Polly Pocket dreams.